The Mothman is one of the most intriguing and enduring legends in American folklore. First sighted in the small town of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, in the 1960s, the creature has since become a symbol of mystery, fear, and speculation. The legend of the Mothman began on a chilly November night in 1966. On November 12th, five men were digging a grave at a cemetery near Clendenin, West Virginia, when they reported seeing a man-like figure with wings swooping through the trees. This sighting was soon followed by another, more famous encounter on November 15th, when two young couples, Roger and Linda Scarberry and Steve and Mary Millett, were driving near an abandoned World War II TNT plant. They claimed to see a large creature, with glowing red eyes and a 10-foot wingspan, following their car at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. These initial sightings set off a wave of panic and curiosity. Over the next year, more than 100 sightings were reported in the Point Pleasant area. Witnesses described the creature as a humanoid figure with large, bat-like wings and glowing red eyes. The local newspaper, the Point Pleasant Register, dubbed the creature Mothman, a name that has stuck ever since. The Mothman sightings culminated in a tragic event that cemented the creature's place in American folklore. On December 15, 1967, the Silver Bridge, which connected Point Pleasant to Gallipolis, Ohio, collapsed during rush hour traffic, killing 46 people. The cause of the collapse was later determined to be a failure of a single eye bar in the suspension chain, but many locals and Mothman enthusiasts believed there was a connection between the sightings and the disaster. Over the years, numerous theories have emerged to explain the Mothman sightings. One of the most plausible explanations is that witnesses were seeing a large bird, such as a sandhill crane or an owl. Sandhill cranes can have a wingspan of up to seven feet and red patches around their eyes, which could explain the glowing red eyes described by witnesses. Similarly, owls have reflective eyes and can appear larger than they are when illuminated by headlights. Another explanation is mass hysteria, a psychological phenomenon where a group of people experiences similar physical or emotional symptoms due to shared beliefs or fears. The initial sightings, combined with media coverage and community anxiety, could have led to a collective delusion where people genuinely believed they were seeing a mysterious creature. Given the surge in UFO sightings during the 1960s, some have speculated that the Mothman is an extraterrestrial being or a creature connected to alien visitors. A more conspiratorial theory posits that the Mothman was the result of a secret government experiment. The proximity of the TNT plant, a former military facility, has fueled speculation that the creature was an escaped experiment or the byproduct of military research gone awry. The Mothman legend has had a significant cultural impact, particularly in Point Pleasant, where it has become a source of local pride and tourism. The town hosts an annual Mothman festival, drawing thousands of visitors from around the world. The festival features guest speakers, live music, and tours of notable Mothman sites, including the infamous TNT area. Interest in the Mothman has not waned in the decades since the initial sightings. Reports of similar creatures have surfaced in other parts of the United States and around the world. In the late 2000s, a series of Mothman-like sightings were reported in the Chicago area, leading some to speculate that the creature had relocated or that multiple Mothmen exist. The Mothman legend is a fascinating example of how folklore evolves and endures. What began as a series of eerie encounters in a small West Virginia town has grown into a cultural phenomenon that spans decades and continents. Whether seen as a misidentified bird, a psychological phenomenon, a supernatural entity, or an extraterrestrial visitor, the Mothman continues to intrigue and terrify those who encounter its story.